Hi, my name is Gwang Bin Bei. In this video, I will present the work Multi-V Depth Estimation by fusing Single View Depth Probability with Multi-V Geometry, which was done jointly with Ignace Budavitis and Roberto Cipolla. Given a monocular input, our goal is to estimate the pixel-wise metric depths. The problem can be solved using Single View Methods and Multi-View Methods. Single-view methods use monocular cues, such as edges and objects with known size. With suitable supervision, the network can learn the depths of textureless and reflective surfaces. As the prediction is made on a single image, it is also robust to occlusion and object motion. However, the accuracy is limited due to the inherent ambiguity of the problem. Multi-view methods, on the other hand, use geometric cues. Consider a sequence of images taken in different views. For a particular pixel in the reference image, if the estimated depth is correct, the corresponding 3D point will be projected to visually similar pixels in the other images. This visual similarity, or the matching score, can be computed between the CNN features. And by evaluating multiple depth candidates, we can find the one with the highest matching score. Assuming multi-view consistency significantly improves the accuracy. However, a large number of depth candidates should be evaluated, and multi-view consistency can be violated in the presence of occlusion and object motion. Lastly, the multi-view matching becomes ambiguous for textureless and reflective surfaces. To get the best of both worlds, we introduce MagNet, monocular and geometric network. We use a pre-trained network to estimate the single-view depth probability distribution, parameterized as a per-pixel Gaussian of mean and variance. Our goal is to fuse these single-view predictions with multi-view geometry. Firstly, we propose probabilistic depth sampling. Instead of sampling the depth candidates uniformly, we estimate the single-view depth probability distribution, define the search space, and sample a small number of depth candidates. This improves the efficiency of the multi-view matching. Secondly, we introduce depth consistency weighting. Suppose that the 3D point corresponding to the correct depth candidate is occluded in a particular viewpoint. For such case, the multi-view matching score should not be computed. We do this by evaluating the single view depth probability. If the depth candidate is not within the predefined confidence interval, we simply ignore that view by adding a binary weighting. This enforces the multi-view matching to be consistent with the single-view predictions and therefore improves the robustness of the prediction. Here is an ablation study demonstrating the effectiveness of fusing the single-view depth probability with multi-view geometry. Without the fusion, the accuracy is worse than the single-view predictions even when a large number of depth candidates are evaluated. With the help of depth consistency weighting, and probabilistic depth sampling, the network can achieve higher accuracy while evaluating fewer depth candidates. Qualitatively, using single view depth probability makes the prediction more robust against challenging artifacts such as reflective surfaces and textureless surfaces. Let's review the multi view matching process. For each pixel in the reference image, we estimate the single view depth probability distribution. Then, we sampled a small number of depth candidates from that distribution and evaluated their matching scores. From this, we use a lightweight CNN to estimate the residuals of the mean and the variance. This updated distribution now contains the information from both monocular and geometric cues. To obtain higher accuracy, we can repeat this process by sampling another set of depth candidates from the updated distribution. As we repeat this process, the distribution becomes more accurate and more certain about its prediction. To summarize, MagNet enforces the multi-view prediction to be consistent with the single-view depth probability distribution. This makes MagNet robust against challenging artifacts such as reflective surfaces, textureless surfaces, moving objects, and lastly, the lack of camera motion which makes it difficult to use the geometric cues. Quantitatively, MagNet shows state-of-the-art performance on ScanNet, Seven Scenes, and Kitty. Here are the references, and thank you very much for listening.